El Salvador, here we come. We're on an FNA mission to go to nine countries in nine months. The New York is coming out of me. I, I'm, I'm in a traffic jam, you know? And border crossing days are some of the worst, most terrible, most loud, most annoying. It's a quick police check to start the day in El Salvador. The destination makes the journey totally worth it. Be sure to subscribe and let's get into it. 6.43 in the morning and we're headed to the border. Last night we had a little hiccup. The road was closed up ahead and it was a two hour wait. The sun was going down. We found a really, I was gonna say a really nice gas station. Not a really old. It was a really old gas station with some really nice people who work there who let us sleep for 10 quetzales, which is not a lot of money. We also ran out of propane last night, mid-cooking dinner. So our first stop when we get to El Salvador is gonna be to fill the tank, because we can't eat anything from the house until then. Well, I got one meal up my sleep, but that's it. No coffee, means no bueno. <laughs> oh, maybe I was wrong, maybe there is a huge line. This line looks longer than the last one. Oh no. Uh... We've decided to cross at the... We're taking the border the furthest to the west of El Salvador. So it's at the town called Ciudad de Pedro de Alava. Why am I? It's seven in the morning. You going with him? Yeah, I'm following these guys. Ah, I see. Uh, I thought it was a different reason. Well, why don't you go ahead like a shitty American? Hopefully nobody comes around this blind corner. Yeah. Yeah, right, they're gonna lay in. This guy. Gracias, amigo. Really All right, we're eight cars ahead of where we were before. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I feel like a dick now. <laughs> All the people who come up on this side are probably blocking the traffic com from coming the other way, which then makes it impossible for anybody to go anywhere, I think. One bus just came this way, but we don't know where he was coming from, if he actually made it through the construction that we're thinking that we're having to go through. The New York is coming out of me. I, I'm, I'm in a traffic jam, you know? What can I do about it? The good news is that we have a little bit of data left on our Tigo Guatemala SIM card, so I'm just gonna burn through it. Es posible hablar el problema Habla. con el teléfono. Fue un puente que se fue. Gracias, amigo. The bridge is gone. <laughs> it sounded like you said the road on the left is good. So like, the, but this road, the bridge is gone. Like it caved in, I think. Okay, so are we gonna take so, the road to the left? I think that's what most of these people are doing. They're like going to the left and then they're going through the little town okay. on the left. Okay. That's what it seems like. Go for Let's it. Let's go for it, right? We've got cornbread. We've got information. We paid him five US dollars because we didn't have any change. And we actually just happened to find a stack of American money in our van the other day, uh, which is- Policia. Oh, yeah, definitely let the police the go police first. Go. Smell you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately there's another car coming. So we're driving towards the bridge that doesn't exist. Around a blind corner. This feels like a great idea. We got this sugar pants. This feels really not good. But why are all, why are they letting all these people just sit here and wait for the bridge to be rebuilt? Like well, it doesn't make seems sense. Like the people made it through last night, no? I don't know. They might still be sitting here, Frank. Ooh, there's a big truck coming. Gracias, amigo. Ah, there's a spot. Made a lot for the head, but I don't know if this is how we want to do it. You know what I mean? This is a good sign. Folks are going by this way, so that means that maybe it's opening up. Who knows? Oh, gracias. One, two, three, cuatro. Oops. <laughs> 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 Gracias. Gracias, amiga. What do you got here? Some plantains. Ooh, we needed a fruit serving. I thought it was a uh, uh, mango at first. No, she said plantains. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Mm, just like some nice dried. We good? The guy right here just told me is that eight days ago the road actually fell in. So this has been going for eight days and that's the reason why there's like a big stop right here. Damn. So yeah, it's like another pretty much like a mile and a half. 
Somewhere around there, maybe almost two miles. Mrs. Omas here. What? Oh, oh no, Paco, Paco Boop! Saw the light of day, finally took a shower. What's that funky smell? Netflix and chill, ate all the food. Body hurts so much. Oh no, Paco Boop! But now that he's been sick, it's like, yeah, Paco Boop! <laughs> The trucks can't go on the side, so they're stuck in this lane to get past the road. But like cars our size could possibly make it. Love we'll a good possibly. Let's really, really hope that no giant trucks are coming. Border crossing days are super stressful, and that's why we're so glad that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy provider, and it's 100% online. They have a network of over 25,000 therapists to choose from, and you can easily switch therapists if you ever needed to. I switched therapists once completely for free, and it was the best decision, because the person I'm working with now has helped me establish a ton of healthy routines. To get started, just answer a couple of questions about yourself and your preferences to get matched with the right therapist for you. Then you can connect in three different ways, by phone, by chat, or by video call. With BetterHelp, you get the same level of quality and professionalism that you would expect from in-person therapy, but completely online. So you can chat and text anytime you want and schedule calls when it's convenient for you. When you live in a van, having the flexibility to access mental health care from wherever you are in the world is so important. For 10% off your first month of virtual online therapy, go to betterhelp.com slash FNA van life. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. We're stuck between a truck and a really steep ditch. Get in line, buddy. Perfecto, mi amigos, yeah, vamonos. That's one of the good things about like making friends, buying something from the vendors, like having a little chat so that you could get some information because See, nobody official is telling anybody anything. It looks like people are starting to go downhill a bit. So we'll see if this is like the area where the road fell in. I just jumped on the path. Into this town now, instead of going straight. And hopefully when we pop out on the other side, it'll be smooth sailing. Yeah. This road, not so much. I can see why it takes so long for each side to go because that road in between is actually quite long and bumpy and slow. This was my one meal that I could whip up. Some of you think that I'm not very good at feeding Frank while we're driving, so I'm gonna try my best today to do it according to your directions. My eyes on the road, babe, my eyes on the road. <laughs> that was a really bad noise. are about to make it into a new country. Every time I like get, get there, I start to get really excited. Like I used to get so nervous for things like this, but now I'm getting like excited. The least prepared I think we've ever been for a border crossing. We actually opted not to get Paco's health certificate because it was so expensive in Guatemala. And we heard that like they may or may not ask for it. And we heard that if they do ask for it and you don't have it, it's cheaper to pay the bribe than it is to pay for the health certificate. Okay, let's go. This window here is actually so that way you can get your stamp <laughs> and your exit. In. You need to go to STAT. The easiest thing to do is match the name of this with that, and that's how you know where you're going. I'm trying to do this without like a helper, which might be too hard. But anyways, the guy actually walked over and was like, you need a copy of this, so. The helper helped without us actually uh, securing the helper. So now we've got to find the copy shop, which was easy because everybody wants your money. They're like, come in here, I'll make a copy. Okay, no problem. And now we're going back to the first window to get the thing that we actually needed before we do the tip. And when you get and it we need stamped, to make more copies. you gotta make one more copy. Copy. So you're gonna need a copy of your tip. Copy of the copy. And also a copy of your exit stamp. Necesito uh, exit uh, stamp. Irish last name? Yeah, <laughs> Irish last name, yeah, McCullough. Well, Scottish, technically. He was a king in Scotland at one point in time. One thing that we made sure of is that we didn't cancel our tip. It's really important that you don't do this because then you have to wait 90 days to return to the country. And if something happened and we had to return, we wouldn't be able to come through the country until that 90 days. Apparently, if El Salvador doesn't let you in and you've canceled your tip, you can't come back. 
So you're just stuck in the middle right here. We're officially done with Guatemala. Now we need to get to El Salvador. They call this spot in between no man's land and it's impossible to get around all of the trucks here. People have said they've waited up to an hour and a half just to get from the Guatemala to the El Salvador side. It's gotta be less than a, a mile. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Nice. Somebody had to do it. <laughs> and it was gonna be me. Oh, sugar fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Solid yellow lines in Central America are a strong suggestion. Yeah. I bring out the New York driver. You gotta just put good in there. Make a habit. Okay, this man right here told us just go for it. Drive along the shoulder the whole way up. Oh. You're close, but you're good. This feels like a really official. It's official. <laughs> you said just drive this whole thing until you get to the border, so. Crushing cones, buddy. Wow. Wow! To the front of the line! Holy shit! And then I think we just go right up here? I have no idea. Sarah Key? Gracias. So it's basically just people waving at you. We parked in front of a blue and white building. This is it. Si, si. Uh, September? Exeta. Uh, soon, sí, yeah, 90 dos. days. Yeah, oh, that's sí. a forte. A total. Si, sí, si. Sí. No need, no necesito for... Es, es no? Oh, okay. okay. Quiere un stamp. Quiere un stamp. No, no, no okay. No es posible. Ah, si. Sí. Okay. Si, sí, okay. That's... El Salvador does not stamp passports. They won't even stamp it if you just really want a stamp. Ready? What is daddy? You got all the, the paperwork? Fans. Here, I want to turn no, the turn fan the on fan. for Paco. Well, we probably got to bring him with us. No, not yet. Hola. Hello, uh, how is it? Ah, yeah, solo un poco. Ah, ya han aprendido para venir aquí, ¿eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, no necesito. Yeah, no necesito, gracias. Y, y, y entonces, ¿de a dónde vienen? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Ah, New York, yeah, no. Yeah, New York, yeah. United States, come here. Yeah, and my esposa yeah. is uh, the Canada. Ah, Canada, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Mucho gusto. Yeah, beautiful Canada. And, and my little Canada. dog is uh, yeah. Oregon. Canada is beautiful for, for the smoke. Hijo de la chinga. Is that a joint, man? Si. <laughs> 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 We were literally like contemplating if we were gonna have to just like leave and never do this. Like if we, she. She was oh. like, she was like, you have to have your title. You have to have it. And then we, she's like, I'm gonna ask my boss if my boss allows it. We have a it. copy of her title, but we don't have the actual title. Which is funny because our friends who just came through didn't even get asked for their title. And she's telling us that she's gonna like deny us entry into the country because we don't have the original title. Yeah. So. Just spent like an hour in there. That was really stressful. And You're then hungry? she asked me to put like our address that we're gonna be going in El Salvador. And I'm like, I don't have an address. I live in a van. And she's like, oh, I need an address. So I tried to pull up like a hotel really quickly and put the name of the hotel. And I accidentally pulled up a hotel in Guatemala instead of a hotel in El Salvador, like a dummy. And she was like, that's not even in this country. I'm like, oh my God, I hate my life. So we're sitting there like, all right, well, if we get denied, do we go back to Guatemala and then try a different border? We got the paperwork! <laughs> I think we just drive on out of here. We'll see if there's another stop, but everybody said this was the easiest border crossing, and I feel like... It was the hardest one for us so far. Buena dia. Buena dia. Ah. We didn't do anything for you. <laughs> see, buck, like Ice Age. You know, buck? Oh, right here. Oh. No necesito? Okay. Bueno. Bueno. Adios. Adios. Here. Stickers. Ah. Yes. Yeah, see. See. You see Paco. That's I just also realized as we were sitting there that we didn't do we didn't go to any office for Paco at all. We didn't need to. They didn't tell us to. I guess not, but does that gonna affect us going into the night the rest of the C4 countries no. with him? No. Uh, we have the Guatemalan paperwork, so we'll be okay. Welcome to El Salvador! Welcome! Ah. Buenas! Un momento! Hey, 
Hey, the red. Hey, man, we're being pulled over. Yeah, man. Sammy, hey, man. Stop, stop, man. <laughs> hey, they're coming, man. Cross today. Is that? See. Vamanos a Panama. I had a feeling they were gonna stop us. Uh, why? Because we're in a very nondescript vehicle. <laughs> I'm not sure why we stand out from the crowd at all. Just a quick police check to start the day in El Salvador. No big deal. El Salvador was one of the scariest countries on our list, but as you can see, we're dancing it up and having an amazing time and can't wait to take you guys along the adventure with us. A huge thank you to all of our Patreons for dancing with us every day and get ready for some fun.